Hi, I'm George Pearson. In this Photoshop Elements video, we'll be doing this color glitch effect, this kind of offset colors in here. I wanted to give a thanks to the Gaming Chipmunk for this request. If you enjoy this video, just click the like button and of course share. Don't forget to subscribe and to learn everything there is about Photoshop Elements. Of course, watch this channel and also take a look at my complete training and you'll find a link for that up there in the upper right hand corner. Okay, let's get to it. Here's the original image I used for this color glitch effect. You'll find a link to download this on the materials for this video. Now I like to have this floating, so I'm going to pull this out like that and then enlarge the window, just grab the bottom right hand corner, pull that down and zoom in just a couple of clicks should be good. There we go, nice large size, easy to see. Now if you aren't set up to do this floating window trick, go up to Edit, come down to Preferences and General right there. And right here it says Allow Floating Documents in Expert Mode. Make sure that's checked and the one beneath it is checked as well. Then choose OK. Now, if your image is docked, you can grab the Name tab and make it into a floating window. OK. This is real nice because we're not using any tools on this particular trick. So it's easy to do a nice large picture and really see what's going on. Okay, we need to have two copies of this background layer. So, go your background layer up to the new layer button like that. There's copy one. Let's drag up the new layer button again. Copy two. Now on the top one, double click and rename this one green. That's a green layer. Not green, but green. There we go. Rename your second layer red. Let's hide the red layer. We need to convert both of these into black and white layers, but we want them emphasizing the color that's on the layer. So here's our green layer. Go up to Enhance and come down to Convert to Black and White. Change your setting to Portraits. And then this is the green layer, so take the green adjustment here and go clear to the right. And then move the rest of these just about into the middle position. They don't need to be exact but just about middle position on those. Choose OK. There's our green layer. OK, let's hide that one. Show the red layer. Come down to the red layer here and show the red layer. Same thing. Enhance. Convert to black and white. Portraits. This time we're going to be boosting the red slider all the way to the top and then move the rest of these back to their middle positions. Right in there. Now if you're not sure if you're close to the middle position, just hold your mouse over for a second and see the little, little number pop up. It's a little high. I'll come back just a, just a touch and see how we did there. That should be real close. Let's see. Plus one, close enough. So let's move these to match. There we go. Basically in the center. And choose OK. So we now have our green and our red layers. Let's now put our coloration into this. So, so we're on the red layer and then hide the green layer. So there's just the red layer right there. Now go up to layer, come down to new adjustment layer and hue saturation. Where it says use previous layer to create clipping mask, make sure that's checked. Choose OK. And where it says colorize, check that checkbox. And it adds color into that picture. So it's now a black and white and red. For the red, put the hue clear to the left. It's at zero. And then bring your saturation up, and that brings in that red color. You can do a lot or a little. I used 70 on this. By using an adjustment layer, you can always come back and change the settings in the future if you want to. So we can play around with the settings after we finish everything else. So here's your basic settings then for the red layer. That's hue at zero, saturation at 70, and lightness at zero. And close that down. Just hide that. Do the exact same thing here on the green layer. Let's go up to the green layer, show the green layer, and then layer, new adjustment layer, hue saturation. Again, make sure that checkbox is checked. Choose OK. Colorize. And now move the slider control to the right and get up into the greens. There's all your colors in there. So you want to be in the greens. Now the one that I used was 130. 
and then bring your saturation up for a real nice bright green. There we go. And the number I used on that one was 83. Again, lightness stays at zero and close that down. Okay, so that gives us our colors. We can now show this one again. Now, come down to the green layer and change the blend mode right here to soft light. Come down to the red layer and change the blend mode again to soft light as well. So now all those colorations are coming in on top of our image. But the glitch effect isn't showing yet. To get that, all we have to do is offset these two black and white layers. So I'll set our green first. Click on your green layer, go up to Image, and come down to Transform and Skew. Now at the top up here is just a little, little square, a little, little box right there. Grab that box and pull that to the right. You see there it kind of moves your whole image over. Pull it to the right just a little ways, not much. If you look at the left hand side, you can see how much I moved that in on the right. Do the same thing on the bottom, but in the opposite direction. And that gives you your offset glitch, color glitch down there. Okay, so we're offset at the top, offset at the bottom. Again, you can adjust these later on to get them exactly where you want. This is a good starting position. Choose OK. Do the exact same thing for the red layer, but in the opposite direction. So go up to Image, come down to Transform, Skew. This time move the top to the left, like that and move the bottom to the right. There we go. And there's your interesting color glitch effect where we have our color separating out and moving off of our images both left and right. As you can see, it's actually pretty easy, pretty fast to do once you know the steps to go through and do this. But there it is. That's how to do this color glitch effect inside of Photoshop Elements without having the ability to use color channels. Thank you for watching my video. I hope you found it useful. If you like this video, click on the like button below to let others know. You can click the subscribe button so you don't miss any of my videos in the future. I'm frequently uploading new training videos. Don't forget to check out my website at howtogurus.com.